This is 5 Minute Power Platform, and today we're going to take in on premises SharePoint and use the on premise data gateway to connect it into uh, Power Automate Flow. So, I mean, you're, you're watching these videos, you're learning about Power Platform, you're coming to the cloud, but you might have a SharePoint in your life that isn't. This is how you bring it along for the ride. Now, I'm going to start here on my on premises SharePoint server. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take this list of email attachments and we're going to use flow. So whenever an email comes in, we're going to take off the subject and the attachments and load them into this list in my on-prem SharePoint. Now I haven't, this is a, I haven't installed the on-premise data gateway. We're going to do all that from scratch. So the first step is to download it here, which I have done. And then let's start installing the on-premises data gateway. So we'll accept the default location, accept the terms and hit install. And once it's done installing, then you're going to sign in. I'm going to, you're going to sign in with your actual Power Platform credentials that you want this to run on. Run under. So this is my Power Apps login. And then I'll do my sign in here. And we're going to register a new gateway because it's never been run with a gateway on it before. So we're going to give the gateway a name. I'm going to call this on-prem. SharePoint and video, just since we're recording the video, give it a recovery key. And then we'll configure it. So we can see we're connected, we get to this screen. And so now we should be able to see it on the other side too. So now if we come to our share or power apps environment, I'm gonna come in here to power automate, expand data, and come down here to gateways. You can see now that we've got it registered here. So that process of registering it, we got the green check marks on the server, means that it's available here. And so now we can build our flow on it. So let's do that. Let's stay in Power Automate. Let's build our simple flow to take the uh, attachments from an email and send it into our on-prem. And so let's, we're going to create a new automated uh, flow here. And we're going to do uh, send attachments to SharePoint on-prem video, since so it's recording a video. And so the trigger is going to be Outlook. Uh, when a new email arrives, this one, let's do it my personal one, not a shared. And so since we're dealing with attachments, we want to make sure that we include attachments. And we'll say only with attachments. And then what we'll do is we'll first create a SharePoint item. And this is important because it's going to show how to uh, connect to the SharePoint on-premise environment. And so we're going to do create item. Now it's automatically connected to my Office 365, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new connection via the on-premises data gateway. I'm going to choose my gateway. And then I need to log in. So I'm going to use Windows credentials here. Now these are the log this is the login that you would use on the server itself. And so this is my login for that server, and then my password, and then I'll click create. And then this should create the connection. Now when I try to select from the sites here, there's none listed. Uh, this might be because my SharePoint server, the SharePoint site isn't actually exposed to the internet. And so what I'll do is I'll just take this URL directly from my uh, on-premise access to the SharePoint site. I'm going to paste this in as a custom value into Power Automate. And then it automatically trims off, so it's just the site address. Now it's also not picking up the list name. Sometimes it takes a little while for that to come up, but I can just type in my list name is email attachment, so we'll put this in as a custom value. And then we see now it's pulling in the field subject and received on. And so now I can pull in the subject of the email when it was received. And then we could have multiple attachments. So let's then do a, an, apply, an apply to each. And we'll pull in the attachments. And then for each attachment, we will then add it to the SharePoint site, to the SharePoint item that we created. And so let's choose SharePoint here. We'll choose Add Attachment. And then we'll choose our site address again. We'll have to copy it in. So 
paste this in from here. Paste. Our list name and our custom value, we'll choose email attachment team, let's just paste it in. And then the idea of the item we want to attach, and this is nice, even though it's an on-premise site, right, we interact with it just like we would anything else in, uh, in the cloud. And so we'll choose the file name of our attachment, which is down here from, uh, from Outlook, attachments name, and the file content, which is attachments content. And now we're ready to test this out. So what I'll do is I'll put this in test mode. I'll perform the trigger action. Let's open up Outlook. So now this is connected to Outlook. And in Outlook, we'll create a new message just sent to myself because that's the inbox I'm monitoring. And we'll give this, uh, you know, from the cloud to on-prem. And then we'll attach uh, some pictures here. We've got some pictures of kittens. Let's put in a few pictures of kittens there. And then we'll send it. Now we come back to our, our flow here. And it's monitoring that inbox. And we see it started running. Picked up the new email. Created an item in SharePoint on premise. And it ran through each of my three attachments. And also copied those attachments to SharePoint. So now let's take this aside. And let's come back now. Now we're back on the server, back on this on premise SharePoint environment. And I'm going to refresh it here. And we can see that it's created the, uh, the item, and we can see that there's attachments. So if we click on this, we can see each of the three kitten attachments as well. So it's just a really short demo to show you how you can actually take an on-premise SharePoint site, and you're not limited from using all the capabilities of Power Platform. With just a simple installation of the on-premise data gateway, you can use uh, Flow and Power Apps and all that on top of your on-premise SharePoint data. I hope it was useful. Thanks.